what do we want yeah. to use to so uncheck data? email address email address okay she uncheck is a blood type blood type blood type is not is important let me confirm why are we removing some of the columns yeah, because we want to know want, what we are going to use for analysis, what we feel, it depends on us, on anyone that we want. If we want to leave all of them, we can. Oh, okay. Well, your first I don't question want to be sure analysis like, will you know be, you're removing it. Oh. Your first oh. question in your analysis will be to show me all the stuff that have O positive. Oh, okay. Abby. So okay. just in case. Okay. Mm -hmm. So we should leave everything. These are yes, yes. You don't need the email address again because you address. already have okay. email address. Okay. Yes. okay. Then uh, just click okay. You, so what did you, you say? Need the credit card. Okay. Credit card. Okay. Move it. This right? No credit card. Are they the expiring this? The expiring this. We don't need it. Okay. So this is okay. This is okay. Just put okay there. That's fine. Okay. Okay, now we rename we rename the table, the columns. Mm. You have to rename. Yeah, yeah but you, you would have unchecked use um, um the um, table name as prefix instead of going exactly. to rename each of them each one after the other. So I think you can you can undo this expanded all stuff. And go back again, yeah. Then yeah. start again. Just from the expansion, then you uncheck the prefix thing. Prefix, okay. Okay, so we said so email address, uh, that's where your headings come from. What else do you remove? Email address. Email address. Email address. Yeah. Then yeah. 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 the CC expires. Just I didn't hear you. Email address. And check it. Bring in all the columns. Just remove only the email address that you don't want it to be duplicated. Okay. Bring in all the columns. Don't uncheck anyone. Okay. Check. So I should uncheck what again? This. That. That's all. That's all. Okay. Is it okay like this? Yes. Yes. Okay. Go, hey. to, go, go to the this. Let's rename the columns. We should let's go see, to where? Let, let's see. Yeah, let's go to the left. Let's see, the, let's, see, let's see the names of the columns. If they are in order. Okay. Yeah, duplicate. Okay, go ahead. Here's a duplicate. Contract, CC, express, CC type, height, weight, blood type, occupation, last checkup. At date, okay, date of birth, gender. Okay, so I think. Hi, you don't have to join anything. You can just. Yes, yeah, duplicate. Which, which one are the du duplicates? Check it very well, the duplicate. Check for my name. From the first name, name surname, first name, yeah, same thing. Okay, yes, initials, yes, yes, initials, yes. middle, middle initials. The same Where thing. Where is it? You want me check to check on the first and second Jacob? Scroll down, you see, it's the same thing. I'm confused, are Yeah, the names, sorry. <laughs> yes, this ones, these two. No, they are all that. Okay, they are all duplicated. Yes. yes. So, how do we remove duplicate values? Okay. I, I may not be 100% sure, but I think if you go to the drop down of remove rules, there should be options to select maybe duplicate or something. Duplicate values. So drop down. I should use the email Please address. Drop down. Yes, 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 yes. Before you go, can anybody tell me why you guys chose to use the email address? I don't know. Maybe because uh, email address is unique. It's a unique identifier. Yeah. Exactly, because I heard you guys saying, oh, there's duplicates in the first name, there's duplicates in the surname. And I just wanted to let you know that in every data set, there's always a unique identifier. 
people can always have the same first name. They can have the same surname. But in a company, okay. no two staff would have the same email address. So don't use any of your any any column that you're not sure that it's a unique identifier. You cannot use that to remove duplicates because you might end up losing a data that is actually valid. Yeah, keep going. Yeah, continue. So I should remove the remove duplicate duplicates. Column. Yeah. column, right? Yes. Mm. No. 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 Duplicates. No. <laughs> <laughs> Only duplicates. Let's do <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> remove duplicates. Remove duplicates. Okay. Yeah. Yes. Okay, so we're uh, we're back. Uh, let's cross check again before we before we uh, close and apply. Sorry, can you say that again? I said we should cross check again. Let's, let's cross go check. Okay, cross check. Okay. Let's go through it. Yes. Yeah. Also, you don't have to do this um, now, but another way to check your data quality was to use those things that I don't know who suggested it the other time when he said when you went to view and then you check yes. those column distribution and column check quality. Those boxes. The reason is because even if you keep looking at it, I mean, this data can not, be 20,000 yeah, rows. You might not see what's I, wrong. Yes. But when you do this, you see whatever is wrong or not wrong with your data. So. Okay. You can also so use column is profile. Column advantage. profile is what you will use to know if there are like duplicates or stuff. So to tell you how many are unique, how many like that. So that way you know if there are duplicates and things like that. But yeah, I think you can uncheck them. I think we're done with the cleaning. So that we can keep going. Okay. Next thing. I think so you, you should, yes, don't load everything except okay. just So I'm loading only for, um, staff, right? Yes, yeah, so only staff. Yes. Okay, so, so, so we can close and apply. Yes. So are we all on close and apply? Yes. yes. yes, yes. <laughs> One question while you're whatever is loading. Okay. What's the laziest way? What's the what? The laziest way to create a visual in Power BI. And by me, laziest, I own lazy with my full chest. I always use the laziest way to do my thing. So <laughs> this is not me trying to shut down anyone. Yep. <laughs> so what's the laziest way to create a visual in Power BI? Go to Canvas now. Uh, is there something we are doing here? Or I just want to look at it again. Oh. <laughs> Nobody knows the laziest way to create a visual in Power BI. I think to drag the column or the um, the you drag what you want to visualize onto the board. Just drag your feet. If that's the laziest way, which one is now the hard way? 
<laughs> I don't. Know. I think power services. What are services? Huh? I think power BI services. Pop shower. Where's Canada? Um, Bookzell, can you double click on your on the canvas, not by the side, just click two times. Here. Yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm. This happy canvas, double click. Yes, yes. Yeah, just double click. Can you type staff by gender? Inside where it says ask a question. Ask, ask a question. Yes, this is the canvas. Staff by gender. Yes, that is staff by gender. By gender. Okay. And enter. And this is not what I'm looking for, sir. Can you put counts in front of that stuff by gender? Say count of staff by gender. In front, in front of count of staff by gender. This is what happens when you do things the lazy way. Sometimes it works. Count of staff by gender. Is it okay? Yeah. There's a small, there's a small distance besides besides that is your title. This, this. Yes. Turn it into a stand. Click that. Click it. Turn this Q and A into a standard visual. I should click it. Yeah. Click it. Was that not faster than dragging and dropping the columns? Hmm. Okay, okay. No, I can't. I know If I know Sabio, I carry my motto. Okay, you guys should continue. I'm done. Basically, we just want to see what insights you guys can get from from the data sets. We don't exactly have oh, any I have a question. question with this um, short cut or short form. That means you must actually know what you actually want to project before you can actually ask the ask, ask uh -huh, for any you question. Know what, as, you have yeah. to know what's in the data now to know what to ask. Yeah, OK, OK. So because I know that it's staff information and I know that it contains the agenda. And Yeah, OK. Thank you, Ma. So you guys can, can continue. Let's just create a few more visuals and then. Books, uh, you said uh, that this is the fact that you are not doing anything. I think I always said that. Like. I said, we can move this to somewhere on the canvas so that we can work on other information. I'll draw other information. Why did you say I should move it? Yes. Move it to one side. Move it to one side and reduce the. Okay. Can you click on it and drag? Yes, that's. Just that's click on it and drag. Mm -hmm. No, no, no. Mm -hmm. Yes. yes. Okay, yeah. Then drag. No, no. It's not. Okay. Okay, my mouse will. But, but don't drag it by the edge. Click on it and don't then drag, drag it by like the edge. Yes, like this. No, like this. The, no, no, no. I no, just click on it. Just place it inside. Then you drag in the middle. Okay. The inside, the middle. Okay. Okay. Yes, yes, so yes, 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 yes. Anywhere. Yeah, anywhere. Left. It's okay like that. Okay, okay. it's okay yeah. like that. Yes. Okay. So we can click on the main canvas now to. Dragging information. Double click, right? Or uh. hello? Yes. Can you use any method to create your visual? Or you don't have to use Q and A alone. So which method? Double click on the canvas and pick. 
No. Is this it? No. So I should double click. So let me remove what? this, Abby. Remove it. Remove, remove. it. Remove. Remove. Yeah, go to your Look, data so set and um, expand the stuff, the stuff, so that okay. you can see all the data sets or uh, columns you have there, so that you can be able to now start working with it. I don't know how important it is, but we can decide to do like a bar chart of the kind of um, credit card they use it, credit card type to see how it's distributed. What are the credit card types and that's if it's important. I don't know what it is. Please, can you, is it, is it possible to hide the, take control of presentation so we can see the drop downs and know what we can make with each other? I didn't get that, I'm sorry. This um, take control, is it, is there a way we can hide it so we can see the full um, of the data so as to know what to put together? Do the recording. I'm not seeing anything on no. Which one are you referring to? Access to the area. If no, if you want another visual, just click outside where you are now. Click at another point so you can get another visual. Yeah? And double click. Click outside, just click outside, click on the canvas and let us pick a visual that we want. If it's a black bar chart, um, okay, so which whatever. Visual? This one. Cluster, and um, we can click, click that one, yes. Okay, now, so, so we can, we, what, yeah, wait, yeah. what information? You go to your data set. Yeah. Go to your data set and... I uh, know what you want. Just, uh, just yes, what do we want? What information do we want to find out? Yes. So is, is it um, first name, uh, occupation? Let's just try something out. I don't know. So I should pick occupation. Uh, I should pick a couple of them, right? Yes. 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 I think we can Maybe check name. For... Maybe contract. Date of, of birth. Okay. What else? Let me see. Date of birth. Oh, what else? We can pick gender too. Occupation. What's going on? Occupation. I was I was about to ask that. I don't know why they are clicking. Are you clicking all of these yeah, for the? Yeah, but you are watching them clicking. Yeah, but 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 I said something and they didn't. Speak, so let's just speak to you. Maybe I didn't hear you. What did you say? Yeah, she actually said something. But she she work on the credit the credit card type. Mm -hmm. What I said work on the credit type. Right. The credit card type that they probably use the most. First. Are you talking about the visual or credit card CC type? CC type. This right? Yeah. Yes. Ayo. Okay. Yes. Okay. Yes. Okay. Yes. Okay. Okay. If they are not yes. talking to us, please mute your mic. There are some some wanted noise. I can't even find them. Uh, this chat is not this. Is, um, usually I don't show any again. Should I click on it again? Hello. Bookzell. Bookzell, hold on. Yeah. Yeah. I think it was um, Obia would have said that you, she wants to look at the credit type using a pie chart. I think I remember she said that. So can you work with that? Then after that, you go to the next question yeah. again like that. Okay, so That's a I very good suggestion. Yeah. And click pie chart, right? Okay. The pie chart is here. Then check the CC type. I should check what? Check. CC type. Check. Check. That's what you are. Okay, check. 
Mm. Okay. And then what now? Okay, I'll do CC type and what I will be checking. I'm in his name. Surname, first what? name. Maybe gender. Who's that gender? Who said gender? No? I said gender. Who told me he said gender? So well, let me explain to us because name. it appears. Can can everybody stop talking? It appears that we really don't understand why or when to use a visual, or what in fact a visual should show. So, for example, when you say a pie chart of card type. Can anybody tell me, like in layman terms, what that pie chart is supposed to show? Like in layman terms, not Power BI jargons. In layman terms, what is the pie chart supposed to show us? I think it's meant to compare between two types, two card types, to know which one is um, put into use the most and um, has the highest percentage of uh, people using. Yeah, okay, yes. so percentage of people using different credit cards. So yes. that means there are two things in that information. There's people, there's number of people, and then there's credit card. So if we have selected the credit card type, what is the second thing that we are going to select? The people, no? The people. So what name, name. column is the people? Name. I don't see a column called name here. So. Gender. This on is we see different names of people. The right? unique identifier the email address, of email address. Email address. in this data is the email, email address. address. Okay. So the reason okay. why you cannot use name is because, like, we remember there were multiple names. Yes. And what did you select? Pie chart? Yes, okay. pie chart. Okay, nice. See what the problem is. So, why did you, so look at your visualizations pane and look to the left. Can you see where so your email sorry, address I, is? I, I didn't know how it was muted. We don't have anything in the values. There is no field in the values. So, we will not, there, nothing will show. So where you, you need have to your drag, visualization. Drag that email address and drag it to values. No, no, no. In your visualization pane, not not to uncheck the email address. I should drag it to where? Values. 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 values, values. You already passed the values. Can you see your visualization? So the red, yeah. I, yes. Here, yeah, okay, values here, yeah. right? Yes. Then this one too, right? Can you remove it from can you remove it from details? This okay. click the X. Click the X. Okay. Just click the X. Okay. Now can you before you continue, I just want to quickly clarify that when you are building a visualization, because Sincerely, let me say my mind. And this is not me trying to shut you guys up. And I like, I'm happy that we are all contributing. But when I heard people saying, um, let's select a bunch, select occupation, select gender, select contract, select. When you're building a visualization, you don't just select for fun. You decide what you want to achieve with the chart, and that determines what you select. And most times you cannot select four or five columns, except, well, maybe in some cases, depending on the kind of chart. But you cannot select so many columns to put in one chart. For example, go to the column, go to the, can you click on the chart that we built with the Q&A? Okay. 
if you look at your visualization your visualizations pane you will see the you see the columns that were used to get that. Why is the gender not showing? You've not clicked on it yet. This one. Yeah. Uh, okay. Don't worry, don't worry. <laughs> okay. You see, if you come to okay, yeah, that's fine. You see the columns that were that were used to generate that chart is count of staff. Now, if you click on your pie chart, two columns that were used to generate that chart is the count of click outside, outside. When I say outside, don't click, click in the box, but not on the circle. Okay. Two columns that were used to generate that is credit card type and count of email address. So, what you are clicking depends on what you want to achieve with the visualization. You don't just click a bunch of, yes, I deliberately didn't give us any questions to answer because I wanted us to just come up with insights. Because even many times when you apply for a job, they may not necessarily give you a question. They just give you data and ask you what insights you can see in the data. And then you have to find those insights yourself and use different kind of charts. So please impress me. Let's have like four more chats on different things. A lot of other things that we can use here. I think we can create a table. Ah, what is that in your why are you why do you like playing rock game? <laughs> Book bell. Ah ah teacher. He's playing rock play. Please unmute yourself when you are done. I muted you. Hello? Can you hear Hi. me now? Okay. Yes, we can hear you. So what are we doing next? Please move this to the top right. Move okay, the pie this. chart. Click on it and drag. Then I think the one you did here the other time, you've not deleted it. That's why this CC type is still showing. This one, right? So I should yeah. delete it, right? Remove. So what are we visualizing next? Another person, not Obiago, another person. What are we visualizing next? I only check the age distribution of each occupation. So what do we click to do that? Maybe the bar chart. The age distribution of each occupation? Yes. Okay. Okay, which, which are you I using? Think, which are I the bar the charts? There are two different table. bar charts. Anyone this one? Fine? Can you use the Is this cluster fine? bar chart? Cluster, you said cluster. This one. Can right? everybody hold on? Okay. Um, Uma, please hold on, everyone. Uma, Uma, or phone book. I'm sorry I, if I mispronounce your name. Did you attend all of our classes? Good evening. Did I need you to unmute your mic and speak. Often, Omo. Yes, I'm here. Good evening. Hello. Okay, did you? Yes, I can hear you. Did you attend um, all of our classes or how many of our classes did you attend? I I lost only one. Um, the person that is still having challenge to download the Power BI. So I've, I only follow on phone and and sometimes I am lost on the viewing from the screen on but the I phone. But I remember telling you that if you still had issues downloading Power BI, you should send me a message on Discord and I would walk you through it. Did you attend the data visualization class? Yes. 
basically what we are doing right now is that we are trying to create to visualize data based on the data that we have imported. And if you have any suggestion on anything we can visualize, you can unmute your mic and speak and tell Bookzell what to do and she will do it. Does that make sense? It's okay. And if you I mean, don't... What I'll, do, I'll, I'll go, I think uh, these uh, classes will, are all available. I'll go back and watch them. Okay. And please send me a message on Discord after this class. Okay, ma. Yeah, on our Discord channel. Yeah, yes, I am. Send me a message. I'm the one who always announces the classes. Okay, thank you. Let's continue. Let's do at least three or four more visuals. We have nine minutes to go. I don't want to keep us longer than schedule time. I think. I think to be fast, we should use maybe cards to get a number of employee um, of staff that are maybe. Okay, female. so I should remove clustered bar chat again because I know someone said clustered bar chat, so I should remove this one. Oh, go ahead. You don't have to remove it; just leave it and click okay. outside and do the card. Okay, yeah, card, card. Okay, okay. what's are the why are we choosing? Sorry, the last person that spoke, what did you say we should then um, we should check against for card? No, Dupai, I think you were the one speaking. No, what I noticed. If you start I saying something, finish it now. I noticed that when we were in things, we are more active than now. Guys, what's happening? Are we thinking? <clears throat> okay. Maybe she said we should use the card. She said we should use the card to count the total number Hello. of staffs. Can you hear me? Yes. Can you hear me? Yes. Okay. Just um, click on your data set so they can see the data set. The uh, second icon to the left. The data view. Data view. Okay, data here. Said you have the. No, no, on your left. On one, your left. Model. Okay, on my left. Here. Yeah. Yes. yes. yes click it. on it. Yes. Click on it. Yeah, I've clicked on it. Okay, so um, from the data set, you can um, ask your question. Who wanted the. Like you can have an idea of what to visualize by looking at the data set. Yeah. So from your data set, you can ask your question. Let's see, what do you want? What do you want to visualize? Somebody picked uh, the card. So what do you want to see on your card? Remember in class, we were looking at different things. We looked at total, sales, profit. So what do you want to see here? We can decide no, to investigate down. the occupation by the contract type or the occupation by the gender or the age. No, I mean, yeah. either of them. So, uh, um, age. You said occupation against the the age. Right? Yes. On card, though, right? So well, occupation. occupation. No, I don't think you can do occupation against age on card. I don't. I don't know, but I don't. Or oh, contract about line, type. Line chart. Line. Okay, with card, right? So let me pick line chart. You could use any visual you want. What do you what do you want to see? What visual do you want? And let me just give you guys another hack. Yes. Sometimes if you don't know what chart to use and you know what you want to see, you can actually select the columns first.
because that, that like was my, that was my lazy see, way. <laughs> like because like you can already see sometimes you because the when you select a chart, the moment you select a chart, it, it limits you to the number of data that you can put. For example, the moment you selected a card, you can only put one column there. So if you don't know what chart type you want to even use, but you know what you want to see, just go and click on the columns. You click outside, you won't click on any visual, just click on your canvas and go and click on the columns. And Power BI would make a decision on what chart type to use for you. Should I try it? Yes, try it. So, do I need to close this ones first? Or should just... Yeah, you need, to, you need to remove it. Two comments Good. So, so select, any, select any two columns. I think someone said occupation against contract or date yes. of birth. Okay, so yes, age against birth. Date of birth. Occupation, against please. Yes. Okay. So, should I drop the. Don't drag it, just click. I should it. click. Okay. And um, occupation. occupation. So, who said date of birth and occupation? I did. Okay, so what do you want? What did you want to achieve with that chart? Yeah, so I, I want to see the. Um, so, you know, we have baby boomers, we have millennials and Gen Z. So, I want to see the age rate that does what <clears throat> kind of occupation. But date of birth would not tell you the age range. Okay, that's true. Because, for example, let me explain it to you. It's when you understand um, how data is dimensioned. So can you go to can you go to the table view to the data view so that you explain I can explain what I'm saying? I should come here. I mean data to view. To the data so. view, yes. Okay. I'm data view right now. Okay. I'm there now. Okay. Can you click this drop down under the occupation? This one. Drop, drop, drop down. down. That's the occupation column. No, the occupation column. Okay, occupation. The drop down. I want to do a filter. Okay. Just select so, anyone. Select maybe account executive. You have to uncheck all first and then select account executive. Account executive. Uh -uh. Uh, Click the okay. choice. Yeah. yeah. Done. Should I say okay? Click okay, yes. First one. Oh, it appears there's only one person that is an account executive, and this is the person's date of birth. Can you click another another occupation? I want to assume that um, some occupations will have maybe two or three people. Just any other one. Don't go too far. I ain't got to labor. There might be more. Ah, still one. Okay, so let me just okay, come back. Here. Come back to no. Don't worry. Just select all and come back to the visual. Okay. So this is even a table, not a matrix. Now let me explain to you what's happening here. So he's telling you um, for the person who has film processing technician, this is the person's date of birth. For the person who has loan processing clerk, this is the person's date of birth. But when you're visualizing data, you need to think a bit critically before you visualize. And why I was going to that page to show you was because let's even assume that we have 10 people who are film processing technicians. Now, 10 of them have 10 different dates of birth. And the information that you gave Power BI is just their date of birth. 
So by the time you ask Power BI, you're, you're literally asking Power BI, what is the date of birth for a film processing technician? And there are 10 people who are film processing technicians. It will probably give you just for the first, it will just give you the date of birth of the first processing technician. So you wouldn't get so much insights from that. The only thing you can then do is uh, maybe create a matrix. If you create a matrix um, for occupation and date of birth, then it will list all the date of birth under each occupation for you. So if you can change this matrix to a table, sorry, this table to a matrix, as you as you click on it, just come to visualizations pane and click. You're already on it. This other one that has blue, the it's other table that has blue, matrix. the one beside it. Is it the matrix or? The I matrix. Yes, the matrix one. Click the matrix. Okay. Yes. I've clicked it. Uh, okay. You need to then drag. Don't so, go to the data. So I think I wanted. I have a question with this. What we wanted to achieve. What if she expands the um, drop down of the date of birth that's in the data side and uncheck and uncheck um, quarter day and all of that and leave just the year? Would it give us something and not, better? Uh, yeah, she, yeah, she can do that. She can just just click the X beside quarter here. I still need to drag the beside I'm quarter on the visualization mm -hmm. screen. And which other one? Click the X beside quarter. And which other day? I've clicked it. I've clicked month it. And day. Remove the quarter month and day. Or leave the, leave, the, leave the rest. Now you need to drag this occupation that is in columns. I should I should delete it or drag it? No. Drag. Okay, drag drag it and put it above date of birth. Drag this I'm one sure. that is in columns. You can drag this one actually. Drop it yeah. already there. Once you see that green, once you see that green is there, just drop it there. I should drop it here. Yes. Yeah. Yes, I've on top, it. on top, on top. On top. You can use that same one. You don't need to go and pick a new one. Okay, sorry. So I should move it up. How do there I do that? Two ways, or click the drop down beside it. Click the drop down beside it and say move to top or go to okay. top. Okay. There are hundred ways to kill a cat in Power okay. BI. Okay. Yeah, well, is it okay like this? Oh, okay. Yeah, it's okay. Now you need to remove the one in the columns. In the yeah, in the columns. Okay. Yeah. So now if you come to the matrix, you can click if you click the plus under account executive. That is the date of birth of all the people who are account executives, assuming that they are more than one. So even when you allow Power BI to no no on the visual on the visual itself. Okay, I should click what account executive. If you click the plus, that plus beside account executive. Plus, okay, this one. Okay. Yeah, like that. So you just all of them have plus. So you, anyone that has like two, three, or five people. Okay. But a more interesting thing to now even do is now we can actually check. So if we want to know how many people, like how many human beings are account executives, how many human beings are acoustic carpenter, how many human beings are, which column are we going to use? Email address. And where are we going to put it? Values. Thank you. So drag email address into values. What's going on? Should I remove this thing? Should I remove the That's thing? not your problem. That's not your problem. Okay. Leave it. Leave it. Can you click on the account? Account. So, what do you need to do to the account? Click 
click on the drop down button. See, so every the drop time down, you the drop down where you have the email address and values, you can do that. So I should. You, what did you say I should do? You should do a count. Count. Hello. Yes, count. But you know it's a count now. I said we want to know the number of human beings. Goes without saying. Okay. Yeah, there are two here. And you can also sort that. Um, just click on on the visual where you have count of email addresses. Okay. On the visual. Just click on that count of email addresses. Click it once. Yeah. So we, so it has sorted from highest to lowest. So we can see which occupation has the highest and which occupation has the lowest. So I just need you to I just need you guys to understand a few things that would work for you when you're selecting most kind of visuals. You need to find your unique identifier and your data set. And in many cases, you will need to count that. And whenever you want to count something, it goes into values, goes into the values box. And then the dimension, and when I say dimension, you want to know the count of human beings by gender, you want to know the count of people by occupation, you want to know the count of people by contract or by city, all those kind of things. So city, contracts, occupation, gender, all those things are dimensions. The dimensions will usually go either in columns or in the rows. And if it's um, the other kind of charts, like um, a, a bar chart, your x-axis, your what's it now? Your x-axis takes the value and your y-axis takes the dimension. So that way, I don't know, that's like the hack that I can give you, but you need to understand what is the dimension and what is the value. That is how you know what to drag where. For example, you cannot drag gender and occupation to X and Y axis. It's not going to make sense because they are both dimensions. So if you have a dimension on your Y axis, you need to have a value on your X axis. We're already over time, but I would just really like, let one person create one more visual something different from the three that we have on the screen. And then we can go home. The part that they were saying since we have not even created it. Just to add to what Rika has already said, um, the person that said using ages, you can actually get their ages, but this time around, it's going to be a different thing. You're more or less going to be doing a calculated column. But for the sake of this class, we're not going to go there. I'm just saying there's a possibility for that. And you can still, at the same time, group the ages and kind of see what is happening there. But that will be like taking it a step further. But right now, we just want you to look at what we have, what we can easily get immediately. And then we can close for the day. I want you to cut type and the contract. Yes. Or email address and contract. Okay. Should we do that? But that will be giving us yeah, the count. And why are you removing the other one now? Just do a new <laughs> one now. Ah. This one that we managed to do. <laughs> oh my god. Ah, sorry, oh, that's true. Just do on G, Control Z. Like the on Control Z. 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 Okay. Thank you. 
Which one did you say we should do again? Email address and what? Contract. And contract. Contract, okay. But I don't think you are you are at the initial visuals because you had clicked on things and you did control Z only once. So, so you I don't do yet have your initial my... visual. No, because I don't you did multiple steps, so you don't yet have your initial visuals that were created. Mm, I wanted I wanted to confirm if I should I do the control Z twice to get back to where we are. No, just at this point. Yeah, I'm lost like five and lost. Click on the visuals again. Let's let's click on the visuals. Oh, visuals. Yes. Okay. See, you can minimize all the visuals. You can minimize it. Yeah. Once you minimize it, you have space on the camera. Yeah, I can't. I can't hear you properly. You said I should minimize what? You can minimize this visual. Visual. Just click on it and drag it to minimize it. So you can have another visual underneath. Can you hear um, me? No, I'm not getting you. I, I heard you, but I don't get you. So I said to click inside this visual and minimize okay. it. You can drag it to minimize. Okay, drag it to become smaller. Yeah, so you can have space to create another There's space. Visual. There's plenty of space. This space under the pie chart. Okay, yeah, if you have space, then click outside it. Click on, on the canvas. Okay. Then um, you can create another visual there. Okay, so which one are we picking? We should pick um, occup um, contract and um, email address. So I think that will be like you're counting the number of full-time and part-time staff. Contract and email address. And email address. Okay. We will need to drag the email yes. address to values. Mm. Why are you not having so. values? Oops, so. Because there's also yeah. you are actually filtering Have on you that. Clicked on visual. Visual. You've not clicked on visuals, it's not showing. Sure. No, there's a so there's a filter. Continue. There's a filter in place already on your canvas. That's why. You clicked on something and you have a filter going on on your canvas. Yeah, it's on the other table. Right, well, let me just control Z first, then start again. Can I do that? No, hold on, hold on, okay. hold on, Boozel. Just remove this table. This um, this table that you were trying to reduce the size. This one. Let me it. wait. Hold on, hold on. Not that. Can you hold on? Don't do anything yet. Let me okay. explain what is going on. First, so that you guys will understand it. Um, if you have this kind of challenge, you know what to do. Basically, when you if you even if you have 10 visuals on this page, by default, they all filter each other. And what that means is that if you click, for example, if you come to email at four, if you come to CC type and click MasterCard, all the other visuals will show only people using MasterCard. Now, there are ways to do your settings if you don't want that to happen. But by default, that is how it is. And if you look at this page right now, you will see that this 1965 is highlighted. What happened is when she was trying to reduce the size, she clicked on 1965. So the whole page has been filtered to only show the person that was born in 1965. So there are two ways to get out of that. You can either try to click but it's going to be hard because this box is small. You need to click in this box, the box that has the 1965. Click anywhere inside it, but not on a particular number, which is going to be hard because we are working hard. So just remove this table because the table is already not correct. So just remove it. Then the filter will automatically be removed. Okay. Fantastic. So now click on your contract and email address guy. No, click on the visual. The visual that has contract and email address. That's what I'm saying. I'm confused. Where is the visual again? The visual. No, the visual. The one you've already created. The one you've already created on the canvas. That's this one, right? Yes, click on it. Good. So I was explaining that um, the person that was directing you said you should move email address to values. 
but there's no values to even move email address to. And I remember telling you guys that what you will have, column values, whatever, depends on the kind of visual that you choose or that Power BI chose for you. And because for this one, Power BI has chosen table for you. And in table, you can only put one thing. You cannot put two. So you need to change this visual to something that will have values. And for you to change it, you don't have to delete it. Just as you have clicked on it, go to the visualization pane and select the one you want to use it will automatically convert to it. Okay. So can you select, mm, how about cluster? Cluster bar charts, cluster column charts. You can be selecting them and be seeing how it shows. Oh yeah. Really. Uh, oh, it's not showing those, but okay, because there's no values. Uh, as you are selecting them, be looking at what is expected of you. So Y axis and X axis before legend. What what did I say when I was telling you guys rule of thumb when you're creating visuals? I said something about Y axis. It's it's the, uh, unique, the unique identifier must be values. Be, yes, must it's be values. values. Why the dimensions is is so a, where will you put the one that is a value in X? So what's in X now? Email email address. Is that X? You mean this one? This is why. Can you select a normal bar so, chart, not a clustered bar chart? I just select what? Normal bar a chart. A bar chart. A bar okay. chart, not the clustered one. A bar chart. That column chart. A bar chart. A bar chart. Bar chart. That's the very first chart. Okay. Okay, stacked, whatever. Can you drag your email address now? Okay. To X access. Scroll that thing up. You can scroll this place. Okay. This visualization okay. screen. Scroll it up so you can see where you're dragging to. People do not practice, so that is what it's showing now. Drag it up. To so this area, to so X. So drag the email address to X axis. Okay. I told you people this thing just now, but nobody remembered. Anyway, so let me tell you the use of legend and the difference between um, a clustered and um, stacked bar charts. Drag gender to legend. Gender to legend. Legend. Do you see what happened? Do you see what happened? Yes. So it has yeah, now split, has now split the part-time and yes. full-time to male and female. Yes. Now, if you want to show this another way, go back and click the clustered one. That's the third visual. Okay. Makes it neater. So that's why I was saying that. This is clear. I was saying that the visual that you choose depends on what you're trying to achieve. Now, if you're not breaking this into male and female, you don't need the clustered black bar chart. But if you want to show something and then you want to show like different levels of breakdown, you can either use a clustered bar chart or a stacked bar chart 
Now, I will even take it another level further. Click the one, two, three, four, five, the fifth one. This is called the 100% stacked bar chart. Not, no, that was not the one I told you to click, but this one too. It's not the fifth about one. The same thing. One, two, three, four, five. But they are the same. It's just one is up, one is down. What okay. it basically does is it tells you the exact percentage. This one is not looking so obvious because I think the, the it was like 45, 50%. But then it tells you the in the exact percentage so it's hello i can't hear you hello clustered what did you say sorry are you back to clustered Change it back. Change it back to close start. Okay, close yeah, start. I think my network is bad. This or this? Yeah. Close start bar chart. Yeah, close start bar chart. Yeah. So um, I really, I really don't know. <laughs> Chama. Yes, I'm here. <laughs> Over to you. We need to close for the day, please. Let me transfer. We've overshot the time. Somebody was saying that they're lost. What exactly is the problem before we close? No, I've told the person to send me a message. I don't know. She always said she had issues downloading Power BI desktop, and I kept telling her to send me a message, but she didn't. So I've told her to send me a message after now. Okay. Um, Okay, I think we have been able to achieve a lot. To be honest, you guys have done so well. You know, cleaning in data in in data analysis is very very key, and you need to have eye for those little little things that can actually, you know, make your mess up your analysis. And we've been able to achieve that today. I think we ended here. This should be our last class, Inka, right? Yes. Okay, so basically just go home, continue from where we stopped and just continue playing with this. And trust me, by the time you play with it, that's when it starts making more sense to you. If at the end of today, you just go home, you don't do anything. Even the ones that you learned today, you'll forget it. But when you start playing with it, if you do it this way, of course, when it's giving you what you want, you will know you will see that you get better and then you can start even asking questions. Okay, why is this? In fact, you start to understand, okay, if I'm using this kind of data sets or column or whatever, I should be using this visual. It starts to make sense to you. Um, if you have any question why doing this, don't forget we still have the chats, Teams and Discord. You can drop your questions there and then we can help you. I wish we could stay longer, but we have spent over Chama, 30 Chama, minutes. Chama, I think they are forgetting. What's that? I think they are forgetting something. Oh, and no, so, the, me, I'm the plan I'm is that, um, the plan is that, um, I know I shared this data set with everybody. I expect that you, somebody, each one of you goes back home and finishes this project. And when I say finish it on your own, you import the data, do everything that we have done today, and then do a dashboard, even if it's two pages, visualize anything, any kind of insights that you feel like is okay, visualize it and submit it on the 27th of this month. We're going to have a closeout session for the whole cohort four together with all of the, we're going to announce the details later, but it's going to be a general call. If I find one person that their submission is good enough to show, the person would present during the closeout call. That closeout call is basically like a graduation and we're going to have someone come to talk to you guys about preparing for interviews and stuff like that. It's happening on 27th of May. 
but um if you like i said you need to finish this project and submit it is a prerequisite for getting your certificate of completion i'm going to still share all this information on the teams and then one person who has the best submission is going to present on that call uh the deadline for submission is one week from now seven days from now that's until next week saturday and like i've said or like Choma has said if you still have any issues while you're doing it post your messages on the discord channel or on the teams channel and somebody will answer you but you guys have to do this complete it and submit it we did this normally we usually just give the project and leave you guys to go and do it but we did this today so that we can sort of support you and then you can go and complete it on your own I'm going to send an email to that effect and all of that. So, yeah, that's about it. I don't know if Chama was still saying anything. No, that's it. Thank you, Yinka. Thank you, okay. Franca. Thank you, Lolia. Thank okay, you, Gloria. Okay. Thank you, everyone. You guys have been amazing. I mean, somebody there are some have, somebody have a question now. Oh, so sorry. Oh, my God. I'm so sorry. I'm not asking, asking. I'm just saying, I'm just asking, like, if anybody has a question in there about what I said. Okay, nobody. Okay, in the, in, in, okay, in, in okay. the email, will you, te will you tell ask. us where we'll submit, we'll make the submission? In your oh, yes, email. yes. I'm going to send you my email address for the submission. Okay, I'll, I'll just say that um, you all did well. Um, the class was very participatory and... Uh, <laughs> you, all, <laughs> exactly, you all did well but I, i'll encourage you to keep practicing yeah keep practicing um work on different data sets that's how you learn because if you don't practice you tend to forget and if you have any questions please feel free to ask us like um think as Chema has mentioned okay just put it down on discord or team okay all right then. Okay, that's it for me. Thank you, Franca. Okay, with that, we come to the end of this okay. class, cohort four, beginner section. Hopefully, we'll see most of you again in the intermediate section. That'll be all from us for now. Thank you. Signing out from here, Choma. Okay, have a nice Thank day. Thank you.